<coughs> hey, what's up, guys? It's Sam here. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. We're going to be doing race 10 of 36, the O'Reilly Auto Parts 500 from Texas. Um, it says we're second in points, but we're third in points. Um, championship mode settings. I'm going to change it back to expert. Um, but manual transmission... 100% difficulty, full damage, DNF to disable, but I've already discussed my DNF procedure. 25% race length, 4x tire wear fuel consumption, strict yellows, single race stage, quick qualifying. So, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's do this. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. I love filming these back to back. <laughs> I just, I literally just filmed. That's why I have a timestamp, so you guys can just see when it was filmed. It was, uh, literally finished the last video, and then 20 seconds later started the next video. <laughs> I think, I don't think most YouTubers do that with their Let's Plays. I think they just kind of take their, their time, their sweet little time. I mean, I don't gotta rush. I don't gotta film all these at once. They're all still coming out at the same time, regardless of when I film them, you know. I don't want to finish the Let's Play a month ahead of time, and then, <laughs> you know. Alright, uh, yeah. So, 16 laps is our fuel run. Um, I want to change it back to expert driving aids for uh, this race. And every race besides the short tracks and the road courses will be using Expert. I think even New Hampshire we will use Expert. Um, even though that's, that's a tough track. Thirty oh twenty one sixteen. That was a fast lap, though. I won't let you tell me otherwise. Denny Hamlin's on the pole. PJ McLeod in fifth. I'll never get over that. Oh, I didn't even see you got sent to the back. If anyone did. Yeah, someone must have since I'm starting 15th instead of 16th. Oh, I got an itch. So we're already up to 8th place, batting with Kenseth, about to battle with BJ for 7th. You guys willing to bet money on if he gets a win in this Let's Play? <laughs> BJ, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Because they just totally blow him up in this game. They make him so good. 
If you guys don't watch NASCAR, B.J. McLeod fucking sucks. I mean, he, well, I can't say he sucks as a driver, but he races with, like, the worst equipment for, like, the worst team. He'll finish, like, he, there's, he's probably not even going to finish higher than 35th every race. So, for whatever reason, the programmers of this game, the developers, uh, just totally boosted him insanely and just made him really good. And that's why it's so funny to me whenever he just does great. It's a good three-way battle right here. Three-way battle for sixth. Blaney, are you going to save it? All right, he did. Well, I'm in the wall. That wasn't necessary. Man, it's even happening at Texas now. <laughs> the bigger tracks it's even starting to happen at. Oh my god, Blaine. I did not even touch him there, so I don't know what the hell happened. I think Ryan Blaney is done. All right, you're coming to the green. Ready, ready. Yeah, he's out. So Ryan Blaney an early DNF for him. And, you know, the shitty thing is, is that we really cannot afford even, like, one bad finish with how close this championship battle is. I, like I said, I know we're only race 10, but every point matters. It really does. And that's what I like about the full season, is that it makes every race matter more. And, I, like, I don't know what their whole, like... Like, they said with this whole playoff format, the winning you're in, it makes every race more important. It really doesn't. It really doesn't. And it does if you haven't won a race. So yeah, every race is important if you haven't won a race. But if you already win a race and you're locked into the playoffs, it's like the other, you know, until the end of the regular season, it doesn't really matter, you know? All you have to do is stay above, the you know, the top 30 in points and you're good. Like, it makes every race matter less. With this format, it makes every race matter more.
precautions out. I'm going to pit now. I'm just going to take a little strategy call. I'm going to pit now. And then they'll all pit before me. Hope for a caution. And then, like, before I pit. And then, yeah. Then they'll all be trapped a lap down. That's my hope. It's kind of early to be playing strategy like that, but... to 23rd. Yeah, Chase has not been very competitive in this Let's Play. I don't know what's up with that. Oh, BJ's falling back to 20th now. He started up there in 5th. He's only falling back. Alright, well that's not what I wanted. But not everybody... Well, everyone's pitting. That's not what I wanted. I wanted us to stay green for a bit, and then... Woohoo. Where's Sheena? I keep hearing her, but I don't see her. 
Oh, I see her. Okay. <laughs> She's behind my blanket. You can't really see her. So Kyle's up to second now. And it looks like he's hard charging for the lead here. And so is Harvick. Holy shit. Damn, they just went up and stole that lead from me. Holy God. Alright, you guys can just have that. I'm not going to fight a losing battle here. I don't know why my car's doing that thing where it shifts to the uh, left. Even at Texas. It's like I thought that was only an issue at Martinsville and, you know, Bristol, the short tracks. But, yeah, it's doing it right there. It's so annoying. It's like it really ruins the experience of the game. Because you can't even put together competitive lap times like that. All right, I'm... Uh, oh, my rear tire. I don't know. I've never seen that where the rear tire has more more wear than the front tire, but that'll be fine for another lap. I'm trying to hope a caution comes out. Okay, dude. Okay. Well, now it is partially because of tires, but... God. All right, I'm pitting here. I feel like we're not going to have a really good race. Like, I don't th th think this is going to be a good race for us. These guys will have to pit in a few laps here, but... Alright, so we're a lap down now. In 29th. Oh, God. Oh, okay, at least we're the free pass. <coughs> Since we're the free pass, we'll pit anyway. I think Eric Jones was the reason for the caution. Even though we literally just have everything, but we'll pit. Why not?
four wide. Holy shit. Halfway. What was that race that we... Oh, yeah, Dover. That was the race that we had that terrible finish. Yeah, we can't be having any more of those. And nobody was pitting either, so we couldn't even make up our, our laps back with the wave around. <coughs> So we're stuck here around 12th right now. Everybody's going to have to pit soon. Alright, well... We got three cars out of this race.
One thing I noticed on that last run was that I was at least maintaining position. While I wasn't going up there and challenging 12th or 11th place, I wasn't losing any of the spots, so that, that was good. <laughs> Makes me think that if I get up to the lead, I can hold it. Oh my god, it's so annoying. It's like I'm not steering it to do that. It just does that by itself. I wonder if anybody knows why that's happening or if it's like a setting that I can change, please tell me. And like, please actually tell me. Like... That's been an issue that I've had for a long time. All right, caution's out. I'm pitting. Yeah, I'm pitting. Is anybody else? I mean, Stenhouse is, but... No, nah, so it's just me and Stenhouse pitting. Which I don't blame him for pitting, you know. Who else is out of the race now? There's four cars out of the race. I was trying to look, but I couldn't see. Oh, it's David Reagan, I think, who's out.
Kevin Harvick and Denny Hamlin are up there battling for the lead. Very good battle up there. So I expect people to start pitting pretty soon. All right, so people are pitting now. So everyone else is pitting. And so now I'm the leader. Damn, like everyone is pitting. Holy shit. Like everyone pit there. There's like one, one other guy. But I think he pitted the lap before. So now I've lapped everyone. That was bad. Alright, well that's the caution. <coughs> oh, Reddick's out of the race. Jones, Reagan, and Blaney. What's Stenhouse doing up here? I'm kind of confused. Well, can you show me his name? He's in 36, then why is he up here? This isn't 2003, where we still had the lap cars in front of the fucking leaders. <laughs> Look at the hell is that shit. Alright, so we're pulling away from Harvick there. Well, not if we do that. We didn't even... Oh, my God. Oh, 
now, and now I'm getting ass fucked by Stuart Haas. Didn't Almirola win Sonoma? Oh my god. Oh my god, that was a that was a hit. And there's Curtis behind us, so we're not gonna gain any points on him. We'll gain one point on him. Alright, final lap. I want to gain at least one point on Curtis, so... Fourth, I think Hamlin won. Yeah, Hamlin wins. So, Denny Hamlin wins. Kevin Harvick finishes second. Eric Amarillo in third. I finish fourth. Curtis in fifth. Truex in sixth. Logano seventh. Bowman eighth. Kyle Busch, the points leader, finished ninth. So, we'll gain some points on him. Kansas tenth. Brad eleventh. Chase in twelfth. BJ in 13th, William Byron finished 14th, Corey LaJoy in 15th, Austin Dillon in 16th, Jimmy Johnson in 17th, Ryan Priest 18th, Chris Revell in 19th, and Daniel Suarez in 20th, Michael McDowell in 21st, 22nd Bobby Carter, 23rd Matt Benedetto, 24th Ty Dillon, 25th John Anemichik, 26th Josh Palicki, 27th Ross Chastain, 28th Joey Gase, Clint Boyer, one lap down in 29th. Ryan Newman, one lap down in 30th. J Cole Custer, one lap down in 31st. Chris Butcher, one lap down in 32nd. Chad Fitchum, one lap down in 33rd. Quinn Houth, one lap down in 34th. Timmy Hill, one lap down in 35th. Ricky Sinos Jr., two laps down in 36th place. 25 laps down, Tyler Reddick, DNF, finished 37th. 38th was Eric Jones, who DNF'd and finished 48 laps down. David Reagan finished 39th, DNF'd 53 laps down. And last place was Ryan Blaney with an early wreck, finished 40th, 76 laps down. And here's how the point standings look. So now I'm just 10 points back from Kurt Busch. I gained a point on him today, so that's, that's something. And I am 26 points back of Kyle Busch, the points leader. So, 
Yeah. I had the fat. What's up with my screen? I had the fastest lap. Most laps led was Denny Hamlin, 52. I don't know what's up with the screen. On the move, Kyle Busch from last place to ninth. And a tough break for Ryan Blaney. He started 14th and finished 40th. Yes. 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 All right, y'all. I'm going to end this video here. I want to thank you guys for watching, and peace out.